Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between collusive oligopoly and non-collusive oligopoly. The literal meaning of the word oligopoly is competition among few. Collusive oligopoly is when the oligopolists come in formal or informal agreement with one another to avoid competition among themselves. On the other hand, in a non-collusive oligopoly, the firms tend to compete with each other, by setting their own price and output policy, which is independent of the other firms. So, let's look into the basic differences between collusive oligopoly and non-collusive oligopoly in a tabular form. Difference number 1, collusive oligopoly can be defined as the form of oligopoly wherein the sellers eliminate competition by way of a formal or informal agreement, whereas, a non-collusive oligopoly is one in which each firm sets its own price and level of output and compete in the market. Number 2, in a collusive oligopoly, firms act as a single monopoly and intend to increase their collective profit, instead of individual profit, whereas, in a non-collusive oligopoly, the firms intend to increase their own profit and determine the volume of output to be produced, in an assumption that competing firms would not change the quantity supplied by them. Number 3. Firms operating under oligopolistic competition often enter into a collusive agreement to avoid uncertainty causing due to interdependence, to avoid price wars and cutthroat competition. On the other hand, the aim of a non-collusive oligopoly is to maintain competition and to work independently as a normal business. Number 4. The price and output decision under collusive oligopoly is mutual and interdependent, whereas, in the case of non-collusive oligopoly, the price and output decision is independent of other firms. Number 5. In a collusive oligopoly, firms agree to set prices and output jointly, so they act as a single firm, which leads to the formation of a monopoly. But, in a non-collusive oligopoly, as no firms collude with one another and a sense of competition exists among them, monopoly does not form. Number 6. As collusive oligopoly leads to the creation of a monopoly, Consumers receive less benefit, as the products are offered for sale to the consumers at the same price by all the sellers, whereas, in a non-collusive oligopoly, monopoly does not exist, which results in competition among the seller firms and so, the consumers get price benefits. And, difference number 7, in a collusive oligopoly, no need to incur expenses to create brand loyalty, on the other hand, in a non-collusive oligopoly aggressive advertisement creates brand loyalty, 